Hello, good people. In user reviews of the smartphone navigation app Waze, as in W-A-Z-E, a common complaint is that it is difficult, if not impossible, to set an alternate start location. Well, you can do it on one of these. This is a Garmin DriveSmart 66, and I will show you how to do it right now. But before I do, just very quickly, you're going to say this is complicated. You're going to say this is difficult, especially if you've never used a Garmin before. There's really not much that can be done about this. It is not the fault of the Garmin. Setting an alternate start location is an advanced maneuver when you are doing navigation, routing and planning and so on. Now there is the route planner, but we are not going to directly use this at first. I will show you the way that I think is easiest. So let's go ahead and do that. So you have your location here, but the first thing you should do is that we are going to simulate a route. This is how we are able to set an alternate start location. So we will go to settings and then navigation. And I already have it checked. Make sure GPS simulator is checked. That's step one. Step two is to set your start location. So we do that by going to where to. I'm going to set one right now. I'm just going to outright search for the address. Now, you, you could search it by business name, but I will do it by address here. Three two zero one El Dorado Parkway in McKinney, Texas, is the Dunkin' Donuts location. So it will search for it, find it. From here, I click on the little information icon and then down and set my location. Now you'll notice that the little vehicle icon now shows as that is where we are. So that is where we are going to start. Okay. For the second location, I will just search it by business name. So it's the National, yep, there it is, the National Video Game Museum in Frisco, Texas. Now, for this one, I will not click the information icon and instead go. But before I do, this right here, now this is for parking, this is for route selection. I'll take a look at that first. It will give me at least two. So I've got this way and this way. But instead of doing that, I just wanted to show you that first. Instead of doing that, go. Turn right on El Dorado Parkway, then take the second right. Do we simulate this route? No, we don't. Now, from here, and this is where the complicated part comes in. So far it's simple, but you may want to save this route. This is when we go to apps and then the route planner and we have my active route. Now for those of you that have watched my channel right along, yes, this is some repeat information from previous videos, but for setting the alternate location, I have to go over this again. Okay, so this is what we see here. We're not going to save it just yet. We'll do a list first. And go to the wrench icon and we can view the turns. This is a list of all the roads it will take. Okay, that's fine. If you are happy with this, we'll go back a few screens, go to my active route again, and we can save, get, click the little X up here, and name it something and then click done and it is saved. But if we want to change this route, that's what this icon here is for. Okay, insert and we're going, we can do, uh, we can add stops. 
or we can do shaping. I will show it as shaping. Okay. So I'm going to at this point. Now you can pinch the zoom if you want to. I like using the plus and minus buttons better. So let's just say I wanted to go to Lake right here. This is Lake Forest uh, Drive, I believe. So, and I want to go up this way instead. So, tap that. Wait for it to calculate. And let's just say now I want to go here. Okay. And let's just say this is the way I wanted to go. I check my list. Okay. Yeah. Good. Hit the check. Take a look at this again. Okay, done. Looks about right. Just going over it here. Go to Stonebrook. Let's just say I'm I'm okay with this. I can hit this up here. Oh, and if you make a mistake, this right here, that is the undo. I might as well show that. And that will undo the last action. Let's get in here so I can show it a little better. Undo. Yeah, it undid the last one. And let's just say I wanted to go here instead. Oh, no. That's wrong. Undo. We'll leave it as that. So, click my route. Okay. Insert the shape. Now we'll try this. There we go. Okay. And let's just say this right here, and I'll take a look at the entire route. I'm good. Save. Save. Turn left. Don't simulate. Save the route. And I'll just call this uh, test one. So I have it saved now. Okay, good. And now I can go back, back, stop. Fine. Now you're probably asking already, can I reverse the route? No. Why? Because routes will take things like sometimes roundabouts, one-way streets, uh, certain lanes that only allow you to go a certain way, and so on. This is why, generally speaking, you cannot reverse a route in any app or Garmin. You have to make two of them. Okay, fine. So if I go to where to in recent, okay, I can go to the destination location. Information icon, down. Set that location. And then go back a screen. Go here go in one quarter mile turn right then take the first left no back apps route planner my active route see I've already saved my previous one and now I have it from B to A instead of A to B okay great and if I want to modify this alright insert shape and I will just change this up a little bit go here okay and I will get over here and then to Lake Forest looks about right take a look okay save Save. In one quarter mile, turn right, then enter the roundabout. Oh, I'm glad I said that. Hear that? It said enter the roundabout. Yeah. So there's little things like that. That's why you, they don't have a reverse route function in this. You have to do two separate routes from A to B and then B back to A. So I'll take a look at the list. Yep. Look good. Excuse me. Looking good. Back. My active route. Save. And call this one test two. Done. Okay. Back. Back. 
stop. And that's it. Okay, we're done at this point. So now I can go back into apps and route planner and I've got my test one and test two. So wherever I am, if I choose one of these and I click go, you can, this usually closest entry point is the best selection here, but you can select, if it gives you other choices, you can use one of the other ones. I would use closest entry point. So if you are, for example, between A and B, then it will get you on the route. It won't circle, circle you all the way back this way. Like if, let's just say the route started here. If you were viewing the map, for example, the route started here, ended here, but you're right about here on the map. If you do closest entry point, it will enter you in on the route from where you are. Good enough. And yeah, that is pretty much it. That's how we do routes here. So I've got now, just to make this a little easier, if I go back to this one, wrench, and rename this, I'll just call this A to B, back, back, and I'll rename this one, erase B, to A. Okay, good. Oh, and I should note that too. We can go in here and, okay, I want to, you know, view the turns. They're all here. Note that on this one, I've got roundabouts and this and that, the other thing right out of the gate. Okay. That's B to A. If I look at this one, list. I shall do it this way. Oop, sorry. A to B. Yeah, notice that this one does not have a roundabout in it. It's different, slightly different, but again, this is why you have to do two separate routes from A to B and B to A. It would not surprise me if you have to watch through this video several times, again, especially if you've never used the DriveSmart, uh, Garmin DriveSmart before. Yeah, it does take a little getting used to. This is true. There's really no way around that. But once you do get used to it, yes, then you can make this work. Set your alternate location. And remember that it all starts by going to setting navigation and you do have to be in simulator mode well i turned it off but turn it back on on for indoor use that's fine that is how you are able to initially set alternate location just remember to disable it afterward so you can start drive normally